Hello sir, hello. And who are you? I study economics at your class, and what do you want? I wanted to ask. Quick, I don't have much time. I understood you advised the IMF with the Greek and Irish bailout, correct? Could you please explain me what happened in Ireland? It is very confusing, T is very simple. The Irish banks gave loans to households and real estate developers to buy houses and now they cannot pay the money back. So the IMF and the European Union are bailing out the Irish citizens? No. They were reckless and they deserve to pay for their mistakes. That is how capitalism works. We cannot have moral hazard, so is the IMF bailing out the Irish government? Not really. A bailout is when you give someone money to help him and do not expect anything in return. Like the bailout of the big banks in 2008? Yes, in this case the IMF and the European Union are giving Ireland a loan and demanding interest on that loan. But how does that help Ireland? They will just have more debt at the end of the day. Yes, but they will owe the money to the IMF and the European Union. Which means they will basically owe the money to the governments of Germany, France, Great Britain and the United States. Why is that different than the situation today? Today the Irish banks and the Irish government owe money to German, French, British, and American banks. So you saved those banks? Yes. And what will happen when the Irish will default on their debts? No problem. By then they will owe the money to their own citizens so they can always cut pensions and public wages. But the Irish citizens will lose a lot of money since they own the government debt. Yes. They were reckless and they deserve to pay for their mistakes. That is how capitalism works. We cannot have moral hazard, but wouldn't the governments of Germany, the United States, France, and Great Britain suffer losses? No problem. They can always cut pensions and public wages, but the IMF will suffer a loss as well. That is no problem. The governments of the world will give us more money so we can save other countries. And you will do the, the same with Portugal, Italy, and Spain? Sure. They owe a lot of money to the big banks of this world. What will you do if the Irish vote for someone who will prefer to default on the debt owed to foreign banks and not default on the debt owed to his own citizens? They will never do such a thing. Why not? Because the banks we work for control the media. So if people will want change we will use the media to bring someone that will promise change. But in fact he will not change anything. Like Obama? Exactly. And like the Republicans that got into office in the midterm elections. Yes, and like any other politician in the world? Most of them. Except for a few. And what will you do if those honest politicians get elected? First of all, I doubt they will ever get elected. We control the media so we can always use propaganda. Or even better, we can just ignore them. If someone like that gets elected we can always use the power of the central bank to cause a recession or a depression if needed. How will they do that? Do you owe money? Of course, I have a student loan that I took in order to study in this school, a car loan, and in the future I will buy a house which requires a mortgage. And what will happen to you if interest rates go up to 20%? I will go bankrupt. Exactly. And everybody else will go bankrupt as well. That is how the central bank will cause a recession, of course. Listen lad, I must go now. But you seem like a smart kid. Do you want to work for the IMF? Great. But in order to get the job you need to do one thing. What? Please, tell me. Never ask any of these questions again in your life. And if anyone asks them you need to say that economics is a very hard field and cannot explain them the subject since they are not experts. Deal. Good luck young man.